The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose them. Splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is... Have a good day, sir. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My prince. Prince. Hello, Prince. Oh, it's a pleasure having you Hello, around. Hello, my lord. Good day, Prince. Oh, how are you, my Prince?
My lord. Oh, brave knight. Have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. Hi. How's that? Bad, not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen. They say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. My lord. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now. And straighten those clothes. Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. Staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. You have all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. Prince? My prince? A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my good prince. Your support will make all the difference, I'm certain of it. That was a courageous move. 
I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good... Fight! Good, good! Again! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero! <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me! Come on! Strike me as hard as you can! Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen, there's something... Walter! You have to come quickly! Both of you! What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Keep out the free. We want... It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. We can't just stand here. I have a horrible feeling about this. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Quick! You can see them! Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his brother. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors? Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my brother and his friends to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. <clears throat> Leave her alone! I'm all right, I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking! Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, brother. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spy. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then! You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this girl? 
the sentence will be what? death. No, this can't be. You are the prince. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Are you listening to me? Pick me. I know this isn't easy. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. You did what you had to do. Never forget what he's done. And that I love you. Take the girl away. Kill her now. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my brother to his chambers. Now. You mustn't blame yourself, sir. I don't think any of us realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's son. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas? Come on. We must leave now. Don't worry, sir. I shall follow you wherever fate may take us. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. There is something rather sinister. Where are we going? I, I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. You should have known better. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day, when you were old enough and strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero, but I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them. Those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, 
as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends, Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead, and one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. I don't know. You really are a hero. I never doubted it for a second. Somewhat narrow, isn't it? Dark, too. You never did care for confined spaces, did you, Sir Walter? I never did care for being poked in the eye or having my head chopped off. What of it? Oh dear, I seem to have struck. How about if I strike a butler on the bumps? Ah, now this is more like it. Grand, spacious, and plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. I hesitate to ask, but what is our plan, other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of? It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? E even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight. But they need a leader. Someone to blame. Bats, take the needs nothing less than a revolution. Well, young hero, this is your chance to show us what you've got. Jasper, did you see it? Well, I know I am. Come on. And I'm proud of you too, old friend. I've never seen a man cower with such grace. It is merely a matter of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero who can lead this land in a revolution. Bats just the beginning. More bats! Get ready to cut the bats! Unusual spell. Another impressive display. To think, this morning my job consisted of laying out clothes for royalty. 
Now I'm a midnight snack for bats. You might want to cover your noses from here on. It's the Bowerstone sewers. Pretty well. Oh, you might want to cover your eyes too, Jasper. More bats! Well, you've certainly got the hang of that spell. Shall we proceed? Ugh, what an unusual stench. I dare say we must be somewhere beneath Bowerstone Industrial. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city. Once we reach the surface. It appears to be a dead end. What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily. But they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination and you should be taken there, just like that. Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution I'm begins. My door for this some is food. what Logan has She's reduced really them to. Honest. He's taken like control safety. of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a prince. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. Us. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. Oh, 
I go up to the car. You don't look like bright wall folk. Maybe you're more giving. <sighs> Hello. So good to have you here. No one's bought anything for ages apart from you. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is, is, this, is this how you use... Uh, I am speaking to you through the guild seal. What an extraordinary... You've come life. from the city. From it would seem that as long here. as you carry the you seal, we can food. communicate freely. Not only that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. If you'll just step into the dressing room. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, there you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. Ooh. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A prince, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words around these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley. You have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Boulder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. He'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. 
I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Hmm. It takes a nice change doing something. I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would term them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. Closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <coughs> oh, sweet papyrus. I... 
I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. By the... Oh, Hawkmark! The Guild Seal! I haven't seen it since the old hero King last came here. Oh, then you are? The Prince, yes. Oh, my! Uh, please, come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how he would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Ah, hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can. This sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Armory lies through that door.
Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are lit. That sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Ah, yes, the fist. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve that purpose later.
Ah, hello. Yes, you'll recall that I... Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them, becoming ever more fearsome. They can cause more damage. The rifle, marvelous. No one's gonna get close to you if you don't want them to. The uh, pistol will remain here should you wish to use it instead. In the meantime, experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked.
step into the light. There is much you need to know. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess, and there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge. But it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. If any part of you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. Blessed Index Cards, you made it! This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again! If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, sir. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern. How curious that Sir Walter should have chosen a tavern. You have a new type of gauntlet available. That is a gauntlet, a device which allows a hero to channel magical energies to cast spells. 
quite extraordinary. Ah, you have impeccable taste in gauntlets. Any other business to attend to? The armory is at your disposal. Tactical situation call for a different weapon? When you need to attack a target from a great distance and don't mind sacrifice... Shopping the other day. Ow. If melee combat is your game, Best look at the finest sense of right wall. You were successful then. Bloody marvelous. You'd be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so. It won't be easy to get in, but I have a plan. Come with me. One of the mercenaries, a cold-blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweights, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. I buy stuff, so come here and, uh, I'll... Hmm, you're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these... Idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. Drink something healthy for a change. I'll buy anything. Well, almost anything. No love potions, I'm afraid. They've been banned.
have some charity, I'm starving. Find any mm, sublime. Right here. I always have more to spend on new stock when people buy a lot. Brilliant. Keep them coming. Finest products in Brightwall Business available here. I love your technique. Ooh, you That's some tasty work. I love your technique. Oh, we've got more in the back, so just let me know if you want to see more. Right, thanks. Let's... You're a whiz with a rolling pin. Ooh, that crust is divine. Pie of the day, I reckon. Wonderful dough work. Brilliant. Keep them coming. I sell the best stuff in Brightwall. Why I sell go round naked best. when you could be... Mmm, pie-making perfection. Pie of the day, I reckon. Need any help today? That's some tasty work. I love your technique. Smells delicious. Wonderful dough work. I might keep that one for myself. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. Champion, thanks. Are all dungeons dark? Rock bottom prices for rock bottom times. Please, if you could spare anything at all. Everything you could possibly need and much more. Right here. What is it you need? Yeah, it may be expensive, but it's worth every ounce of gold. You have a new facial hairstyle. That we should have just what you need. You're paying top gold for a top quality item. You've got a new tattoo design available if you're feeling under adorned. Not quite repulsive, but well on your way. Were you in my shoes, I'd give you some gold. If only so you could get shoes that fit properly. <laughs> 